Hi everyone, welcome back to another full OLO video. In this video we'll be going through some big lightning bolt cases as well as some flipped edge cases. So starting with the big lightning bolts, these are the two cases that you can get. They are mirror images of each other. So let's start with the right handed version of the case which is the one that I'm showing now. So to know how to hold the case you want to first look for a 2x1 bar on the side. So make sure you have this bar placed at the back. So not at the front, not at the side, it must be at the back. So now that you've placed the 2x1 bar at the back, you want to look at the front corner colours. So if the corner on the right side is yellow, it means that it is the right handed case and you can go ahead and do the right handed algorithm. So the algorithm for this case is actually quite straightforward and it is also quite easy to remember. So it starts off with an R prime followed by an F, so you can use your index finger for the F. Now you do the sexy move, which is R U R prime U prime. And now you finish off the algorithm with an F prime matching up the yellow colors. You do a U to match up these colors and then R to finish off. So moving over to the mirror image of the previous case, which is this one here. So once again, you want to look for the two by one bar on the side and you want to put that at the back like this. Now you want to look at the front corner colors and we notice that the one on the left is yellow which means that this is a left handed case and you can do the exact same algorithm as I shown previously but mirrored for your left hand so that would look something like this. So it starts off with an L F prime then you do a left sexy and then finally you just match up the yellow colors and there's your algorithm. However, for those of you who don't like using your left hand for OLO algorithms, then I will show an alternative for this case, which is done with your right hand. And so it's actually the same algorithm as your left handed one, but mirrored to the back right corner. So for that, you want to do a U2. So in this case, you actually want the two by one bar at the front if you want to use the right handed algorithm for this case. So the algorithm starts with an R followed by a B prime. So you want to do your, the B prime with an index finger push like this to avoid a regrip. Following that, R prime U prime, R U like this. Finally, you want to end off with a B move here, match up the yellow colors with a U prime, and then finally end off with an R prime. And that solves that OLO case with your right hand mirrored from the back corner. Next up, moving on to the cases where all the corners are oriented but only the edges are flipped. So the first case is when two adjacent edges are flipped, so these edges are next to each other. With this case, you want to hold the flipped edges so that one of the flipped edges is at the front and the other one is on the right side. And so you want to start with this algorithm. So it starts with a wide sexy, so it means this first move is a wide R move. The rest is a regular sexy, so you R prime U prime. You want to do an M move, which is the middle layer down. Otherwise, you can think of it as an, a wide R prime followed by an R. That might be easier for the finger tricks. And finally, you just want to insert this pair regularly as if it was a regular F2L pair. So just like this. And that solves that OLO case. Alright, so last case we'll be talking about today would be this one here. Similar to the previous one, all corners are oriented, only two edges are not oriented. So with this case, you want to hold it so that there are vertical lines on either side. Otherwise, you can think of it as forming a H pattern here with all the yellow colors on the top layer. For this algorithm, it's actually very similar compared to the previous one. It starts off with a regular sexy. Following that, you want to do an M prime, so middle layer upwards like this. Now you want to do a reverse sexy, but the last move is a wide R prime like this, and that solves that OLO case. Alright, so that's it for this OLO made easy video. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. 
Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.